Hello and welcome. The game we are checking out today is a Game of Thrones, the board game. This was recently free on Epic, the Epic Game Store, so I grabbed it then, but I'm finally checking it out now. All right, defend the coast. Learn the basics while fighting off pirates marauding the north. Sure. Welcome to Westeros. In this mission, you will take on the role of House Stark, one of six great houses seeking dominance over the lands of Westeros. Each game round has three phases. Westeros phase, players react to events, planning phase, players secretly assign orders, action phase, players take turns resolving orders. After 10 rounds, the player who controls the most locations presumably wins. In the planning phase, players must assign orders to each area where they have a unit. Assign march orders to your units in Winterfell. March order, move any number of units from this space to adjacent spaces. All right, confirm. In the action phase, each player resolves the orders they assigned. A single march order allows you to move any number of units from that area into adjacent areas. Select Winterfell to resolve your march order there. Move one of your units into White Harbor and the other to Moat Kalen to take two castles. Confirm March. Because Winterfell is your home, you maintain control even if you have no units there. So long as it is, isn't occupied by enemies. The castle symbol refers to both castles and strongholds. If a player controls seven castles, they win immediately without needing to wait for the end of the 10th round. House Greyjoy is marching. At the start of a round, Westeros cards are drawn that affect all players. This phase is skipped on the first round. Recruit new units in strongholds and castles. The mustering cards lets players add new Units to castles and strongholds they control. Castles provide one point of mustering. Select the castles in White Harbor and Moat Kalen to muster a single footman in each area. Footmen are useful for expanding your land empire. Strongholds provide two points of mustering. Select strongholds, stronghold in Winterfell to use these points to muster a knight. Knights are twice as powerful as footmen in battle. Nothing happens. The next card is drawn is the last days of summer. Nothing happens. Enjoy this rare moment of rest. Sir Roderick Castle. A raven arrived with news that Greyjoy's pirates have been attacking in the south. March your troops to the coast to defend to defeat the sea scum. Use an area to place an order.
You have unlocked the Consolidate Power Order. The crown symbol represents power. Each player begins the game with five crowns and can increase their crowns by resolving Consolidate Power Orders. Crown is used to keep control of areas your units abandoned, bid on influence tracks, fend off wildling attacks. In turn order, players take turns resolving a march order of their choice. March one of your units from White Harbor to Moat Kalin so that it can join your other forces for an attack. Time to show those salty scoundrels what the North is made of. When marching, you're not allowed to move into more than one area that would start a battle. March all three units from Moat Kalen to Greywater Watch to begin a battle. You want to spend one crown to keep control of Mo Kalen. Combat is resolved by comparing the strength of the battling sides. Each footman adds one to its owner's total strength. Each player may then play a house card to add to their side's strength. Play Great John Umber to increase the strength of your side by two. Your opponent played Dagmar Clefjaw, bringing the strength of their side to three. You win the battle with the higher strength of five. After a battle, the losing side suffers casualties equal to the number of swords played by the winning side. However, Dagmar Clefjaw's fortification lets your opponent ignore one casualty. Since the Greyjoy footmen were not killed in battle, they must retreat to an adjacent area as routed units. Routed units can't march and contribute no strength in combat. If a routed unit is defeated in another combat, it is destroyed. Routed units become unrouted at the end of a round. Adjust Supply Track Reconcile Armies. When the supply card is drawn, each player updates their supply limits to equal the number of barrels in areas they control. Supplies determine the number of areas players may have with two or more units. Areas with a single unit do not require supplies. Your current supply limits are displayed as dots next to the helmets by your supply barrel. The yellow dots show which of your supplies are in use. If a player has lost territory since the last supply card was drawn, they may have to remove units to, conf to conform with their new supply limit. You can review the supply limits associated with each barrel amount by selecting the barrel on your house banner. Each player collects one crown for each crown icon on an area he controls and each controlled port with an adjacent enemy ship. And 
pretend nothing happens after that. Take two more castles from the Greyjoys to complete this scenario. Your men await their next orders. Time to go on the offensive. Shit. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. They just stay here or to march. Let's march. We've got Eddard, we've got Rob Stark, Bruce Bolton, the Blackfish, Sir Roderick, and Catelyn Stark. Wow, Catelyn lo sure looks different in this than she does in the show, that's for sure. We kind of have a lot more strength than them, it seems, so let's just go with Blackfish. new units and strongholds and castles very good i didn't even look at the other ones you've unlocked the ability to spend one mustering point to upgrade your footmen into knights knights count as one unit towards your supply limits even though they are twice as powerful as combat in combat as footmen got it so it's definitely good to have more Bid on the three influence tracks. When Clash of Kings is drawn, players bid crowns on the three influence tracks. Today we'll bid on only on the war focused fiefdom track, which determines tiebreakers in combat. Each player chooses to bid a number of crowns, which will be spent whether or not they end up the highest bidder. Players are then ordered from highest to lowest bidder. Let's go all in with our crowns to see if we can beat the Greyjoys for the top slot of Fiefdom Track. You know, I really didn't even want it. I didn't want to spend any of my crowns, to be honest. House Stark can now grant plus one strength in combat per... Alright. And last day of summers. Nothing happens. 
You beat the Greyjoys bit of four to earn first place and defeat them track, gaining the first player bonus of the Valyrian Steel Blade. Once per round, the Valyrian Steel Blade can be used to increase your combat strength by one after house cards have been revealed. You've unlocked a new order. The support order allows units in its area to add their strength to combat in any adjacent battle. Support can be key to winning your conflicts and can also be used to aid allies. Yeah, they took on my crown, so I lost this spot, it seems. So it's either I go up to here or I take the twins. Well, the twins is important in the in the show in the books, but I don't see I don't see a castle or stronghold. Let's go ahead and march. We'll do all that. So we don't seem to have a way to get to here. So I guess we're not going to be taking Pike. Instead, I'll just take this place from them. Only one guy over there. We'll just go ahead and get rid of this guy. Oh, I get maybe I could have come down to this place, I guess. I didn't realize that was connected. Nothing happens. Each player collects one crown for each crown icon. And nothing happens. Good enough.
We'll just go ahead, head on over here, so we can finish up this scenario. We've got five to their four. We'll go Eddard Stark. Wow. Yeah, use my Valyrian Steel. And we had the Fiefdom Tiebreaker. Fantastic. Almost like it was planned. Fine work, my lord. A feast is in order. All right, Siege of Pike. Muster ships and set sail for the Iron Islands to quell the Greyjoy Rebellion. The Greyjoys have declared open rebellion against the Seven Kingdoms. You have orders from the king to muster ships and set sail for Pike to defeat their lord or their leader, Lord Balon. You have unlocked a special version of Consolidate Power with a star icon. When assigned to a castle, the Star Consolidate Power Order allows you to muster in its location instead of taking crowns. Muster, make me a boat. And we collect crowns for each icon. Controlled ports without an adjacent enemy ship. Each controlled port, okay? Assign march orders to Bay of Ice and Winterfell to continue your march towards Pike, the home of the Balon's Rebellion. Ships may be used to transport units to other lands. Land areas. March a single footman from Winterfell to Flint's finger using your ships as a sea bridge. Play your Roos Barton card to deal with this small band of pirates. Sail your ships to Sunset Sea. Mustering card has been drawn. Upgrade your footmen into Flint's Finger, in Flint's Finger, and Winterfell into Knights. You also need to continue growing your fleet. Use your second point of mustering in Winterfell to build a ship in the Bay of Ice.
bid on three influence tracks. The Clash of Kings has been drawn. This time, we will bid on the Iron Throne influence track in addition to the Fiefdom track. Position on the Iron Throne track determines the order in which players resolve actions. The player at the top of the track also gains the Iron Throne ability, breaking all ties outside of combat. Let's bid three crowns so that we still have enough left to place a competitive bid on the Fiefdom track too. You bid more than the Greyjoys, earning the first spot on the Iron Throne track along with the Iron Throne ability. Because the Greyjoys only have three crowns, we should be able to win with the Iron Throne tie-breaking ability if we bid three. You did it. Using the Iron Throne's tie-breaking ability, you beat the Greyjoys to earn first place on the Fiefdom track, gaining the first player ability of the Valyrian Steel Blade. You have unlocked defense orders. Can be used to increase the strength of their area when attacked. You have unlocked raid orders. Raid orders can be used to remove enemy support orders, consolidate power orders, or even other raid orders. Assign a defensive order to Flint's Finger to protect against any attacks from Greywater Watch. Let's assign a raid order to your ships in Sunset Sea to disrupt your enemy. Assign a consolidate power order to Winterfell so you can continue to grow your army. Finally, assign a support order to your ship in the Bay of Ice to help protect your adjacent areas. Raids are the first orders to be resolved in the action phase, followed by marches and consolidate power. Defense and support orders are resolved during combat. Sea area areas are especially useful for supporting and raiding. Sea areas can support and raid land areas. Land areas can't support or raid sea, area sea areas. Okay. Because you are higher on the Iron Throne track, you will get to raid first. Use your raid order in Sunset Sea to remove the support in Iron's Man, Iron, Iron's Man's Bay. This will prevent the enemy's ships from supporting an attack in an adjacent area. Your opponent is now left with no adjacent orders to raid. You're being attacked. Your initial strength is 4, plus 2 for your knight, plus 1 for your supporting ship, and plus 1 for your defense order. Catelyn Stark is best used when defending. Play her to double the value of your defense order.
Len's finger will not fall today. You break the tie because of your higher placement on the Fiefdom Influence track. Your opponent's footmen must retreat back to Greywater Watch routed. Do you want to consolidate power or muster at Winterfell? It's telling me, muster. A new, a new unit type is now available, Siege Engine. For strength when attacking a castle or stronghold, destroy this unit when routed. Use your two mustering power in Winterfell to muster the powerful offensive unit, Siege Engine. Siege engines contribute four strength when attacking or supporting combat against castles. The downside to siege engines is that they provide no strength while attacking an area without a castle. They are also useless on the defense. Adjust supply track, reconcile armies. Each player collects one crown for each crown icon on an area he controls and each controlled port without an adjacent enemy ship. I got one. The king has ordered that you may lay siege to Pike in this round. His master of ships will place your orders for you during the planning phase, but it's up to you how to resolve them. Removing an, an enemy consolidate power order with a raid allows you to pillage, stealing one crown from that player. Your men have their orders, sir, but they will need your expert guidance for where and when to march. Once you take Iron Man's Bay with your ships, you should be able to transport your siege engine and two knights to attack Pike. Is it telling me to use blackfish? I can't tell. I think it's telling me to use blackfish. Can't remember what they told me to do. Do is it that I take Greywater March? Do I take Greywater March with this guy? 
so that the siege engine and this guy can go all the way down? Is that, is that what I'm doing? No, I don't think it is. I think I messed up. Maybe I was supposed to leave one boat here. That looks like it's pointing on Great John Umber. Yeah, see, I'm supposed to get them all the way down here this turn, right? Big letters. Defeat Lord Balon and Pike this round. Yeah, okay, let's redo it. Attack Iron, Iron's Men's Bay with your ships to make a path to Pike, resolving your march order in Winterfell before Greywater Watch should allow you to get a siege engine and two knights all the way to Pike this round. Remember, units can move more than once a turn so long as you move them into a space. Oh, this is what we were missing with one of your other march orders. That's what we messed up. Okay. I was wondering, I was like, I was like, how does it expect me to get all the way down there? And then we blackfish. Got eight to their seven. Let's just go all out and go Eddard. We win. The Greyjoy's fleet is yours. When you defeat an area with a port, you gain control of all ships in that area. Lord Balon has bent the knee to the king, and you will take his son, Theon Greyjoy, as a ward to ensure the truce. Well done, the crown will be pleased. Hold the wall. Practice advanced orders while helping the Night's Watch repel a wildling attack. Winter is coming and a growing army of wildling barbarians threaten our lands in the north. Increase your crown so you can help the Night's Watch repel the wildling attack when it comes. You can track the wildling strength above. They attack when their strength reaches 12 or a wildling attack card is drawn during the Westeros phase. All orders are unlocked. Star orders offer additional abilities and bonuses, but 
are limited by your position on the king's court track. Because you start in position two, you may assign two star orders per turn. Ass assign your orders now to grow your kingdom and collect crown to help defeat the wildling attack when it comes. Choose an order to place. Let's go ahead. Consolidate. Support special order may add the strength of units in its area plus one additional combat strength to either side of a combat in adjacent area. Plus two strength when defending this area in combat this turn. Move any number of units from this space to adjacent spaces plus one strength to your side of a combat that these units initiate. Go ahead and do this then. I see. A little hard to tell. Like, I'm presuming the Wildlings are going to attack Winterfell, but I don't know. This might be like, we're gonna fail and then I'm gonna adjust after the fact kind of thing. I see. It's a big map. There's the wall up there. Judging by this, it sure looks like they would have to attack us here. Unless I was supposed to move up here. Whatever. Let's just see what happens. Upgrade to Knight. Do another Footman. Wildlings are moving toward the wall. Each time a Wildling icon is drawn in the Westeros phase, their forces are increased by two. When they reach 12, they will launch an attack that can only be stopped by bidding that much crown. Oh. That's that's how we do it? Oh. Okay. Wish I had known that, known that sooner. Thought it was going to be like an actual battle we were going to have to do. 
bid on the three influence tracks. This time we're going to bid on all three influence tracks. The first is the Iron Throne. Bid for your position on the Iron Throne track. Oh god, can I just retry already? Drag house symbols to break ties for the fiefdom tracks. Drag where? Drag house symbols, symbols to break ties for the fiefdom tracks. Dragging all over the place. Where do you want me to drag this? Each player's position on the King's Court track determines the number of star orders available to them during the planning phase. The player at the top of the track gains the Messenger Raven ability at the end of planning. They choose between two actions, swap one of their orders on the map with one of their un unassigned orders, look at Next, Wildling card, and put it on top or bottom of the da deck. Oh my god. We still lost. Oh, so last time... What? This... Oh my god, this option is terrible. I should have just ignored this. I think I moved myself lower on the list last time. This is terrible. I just need to restart. I need to restart so bad. I wish I'd known what this was actually going to be like. You are now playing with the full version of all three Westeros decks. Each deck has its own set of 10 cards. The third deck includes conditions that limit the available orders and a card that triggers an early wildling attack. Don't know what we're going to do now. Do that. Our list of enemy enemies keeps growing. House Lannister and House Baratheon. House Lannister and House, Bar House Baratheon may help fight the Wildlings, but they certainly aren't our friends.
Review the cards in your opponent's hand by selecting their house banner. This can help you decide which house card you need to play to defeat them. Euron, Victarion, Theon, Balon, Dagmar, Asha, and Aaron Damphir. I don't think I need to play any. Is it really, is it forcing me to play one? I really don't think I need to. I guess I have to. the hell did I just do? Did I just accidentally cancel my own movement? in strongholds and castles. to do my other stronghold because someone wasn't there. Is that what happened? Each player collects one crown for each icon on an area he controls. Yeah, port without an adjacent enemy. Okay. Raid orders cannot be played during this planning phase. Do one of those. Do one of those. Do one of those. I want to take this spot. I only want to move one. I only want to move one knight. It wants me to use Great John. Patch face at the end of combat. 
Look at your opponent's hand. You may force them to discard a card of your choice. That ain't good. Well, I mean, he got rid of Sir Roderick. Not the end of the world. You are adjacent to a neutral force. Neutral forces are defeated by matching or exceeding their strength with your marching army. When facing a neutral force, you can't play house cards or use the Valerian Steel Blade. Neutral forces can't be supported. There we go. Adjust supply track, reconcile armies. Each player collects crowns. The wildlings attack Westeros. Fantastic. And here we're going to lose. Wildlings have attacked. The more crowns you just contribute, the more likely we are to succeed. The combined crowns contributed by each player equals or exceeds the wildling strength, they will be defeated. If the wildlings wins, if the wildlings win, players, especially the lowest bidder, will often receive a punishment determined by a wildling card. If the wildlings are defeated, the highest bidder will receive a reward for their effort. All right, well, we won. Night's Watch victory. Highest bidder moves to the top of one influence track of his choice. The North is safe thanks to your heroic efforts for now. House Lanner has moved to the top. <laughs> All right. And challenges. Okay, yeah, let's go there. You know, that didn't really feel like a victory, but whatever. Still counts, I guess. All right. Challenges. We have House Lannister, House Tyrell, House Baratheon, House Greyjoy. You know, I want to see how they make Marjorie Tyrell look in this. So that's where we're going. Growing strong. Queen of Thorns, Renly Baratheon may have as much claim to the throne as a rusty pot, but he has a talent for flattery, and he's agreed to marry my lovely granddaughter. Now it's up to us to round up enough fool fools who will fight for him. Choose an area to place an order. Okay. Assemble a total land army of 15 or more units. I see. All we have right now is one ship here. Not much to go off of. That's right, Consolidate does nothing in C. And all of this stuff is still locked. It doesn't look like anyone is actually in the reach. Thank you. 
Don't see much they could do. Besides using them maybe to... do support in some way. You're on Greyjoy, just beat Tywin Lannister. I definitely don't like that they are right there. Definitely want this area from them. I just like no I didn't just pass my turn did I why didn't I get to use these guys yet Destroy one of your opponent's attacking or defending footmen. It's telling me to use Marjorie Tyrell. Well, that's what Marjorie looks like in this. It, is, is that just where the hand shows up every time, or is it actually telling me to use that? I'm starting to think that's just where the hand shows up. If you are attacking and win this combat, move the march order into the conquered area. You may use this march order later this round. There, we win. of blades the holder of the iron throne chooses one of the following everyone updates their supply then reconciles armies everyone musters units or this card has no effect nothing happens and the holder of the valyrian steel blade chooses one of the following conditions for this planning phase defense orders cannot be played march plus one orders cannot be played or no restrictions Alright, we are kind of spread pretty thin now.
Make them support. They can consolidate power. They can defend and they can defend. see we have we have three to their zero it should be pretty impossible for them to beat us here yeah I didn't even need to use that too I just kind of overkilled it Collecting crowns. Wildlings attack Westeros. Yeah, maybe I should have bid as much as possible there. Yeah, I would love to go down here and get this three towers place, but... I also really don't trust it. They are currently not threatened. They just stole my crown? How dare they?
holder of the Iron Throne chooses one of the following. Everyone update their supply and reconciles armies. Everyone musters units or nothing. Seems like they chose nothing. Holder of the Messenger Raven chooses one of the following. Everyone's bids on the three influence tracks. Everyone collects one crown for every crown icon. Or nothing. Did I still not win? No, I did win. Court orders cannot be played during this planning phase. But I've got the Iron Throne, that's what's important. Oh man, they are making their way in now. This is no good. Yeah, I don't know if I can get away with consolidating power. Maybe I can. That's right, I, I can because I've got Iron Throne, so I go first. Yeah, maybe I should be a bit more expansionist, but it is really worrying to do so when all you have is three units. Fantastic. Finally. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now we just need more barrels. Okay, we collect crowns. No defense orders. Okay, so the plan I think is going to be one. You take this place and this place. Here too. This place seems a lot sketchier. This place seems like it's asking for trouble. It's like surrounded on all sides. We march from here to take the three towers. We march from here to take the Dornish marches back. Blackwater would be nice. Okay, let's do this. We will give march orders to them. They can have the minus one. Oh, this is not nearly as easy as I thought it would be, even just looking at this. Because, like, if I move two over here, we're still going to be at a single point disadvantage for there. And if I do the minus one for this spot, then I'm going to have to send the knight and we're going to be dead even at this spot. Okay. Support and marching. We get to go first, because we are on the Iron Throne. Should have the support from that boat as well. Oh, my God.
How did they get to go next? What the hell was that? I wasn't done. Oh my god, we lost? I, well, I guess we're done with this. Let's try out the line in the wolf. House Lannister. My idiot son seems to have gotten himself captured. I've no love for the boy, but his... This insult to House Lannister cannot go unpunished. Conquer the Eyrie to rescue Tyrion, win two battles against the Starks. Okay. I see. Well, I certainly have options here. The Eerie's right here. We've got two prime candidates for taking down Starks right away. But... The Eerie is here. There is water available on the side there. Not much in terms of ships stopping me. But it definitely looks like it's going to take quite a few turns to get over there. We've only got eight. Give the ship some movement. Give him plus one, give them plus zero. From there, from there, what to do? Depends on where we want to build. Yeah, it depends on where we want to fortify. So we definitely need to muster a force here to take the Eerie, but we're going to need... I don't think we're going to have the strength to do it just on foot. Be nice if we did, but... Don't know if we will. I'm sure these will be coming for this spot sooner or later. Solidate power. And a reinforce. We have the Messenger Raven, apparently. We're number one for that. I see. Because we have the, the Messenger Raven, I can look at what they have used wherever and make adjustments accordingly.
I don't see anything that should warrant me doing so. Wildling victory, nothing happens, nothing happens. That seems good to me. I'd prefer not to bid. Yes, let's maintain control of the mountains. about them trying to move in over here but we can also always make more ships with this guy yes maintain control of the twins Lannister versus Stark I don't trust them at all we're going full Tywin if we win, game two. Excellent. With victories like these, the Starks will soon see the folly in denying us. That's one out of two battles done. Oh. This is probably what we need to be doing. Nothing happens. Defense orders cannot be played. Another consolidate power. They can get the strong movement. If I move him over, I can take River Run. But then Lannisport would be undefended. So tempting, though.
Keep that thing at the top. We'll take out the Eerie first and then we'll go up to here. Perfect, they're retreating. Wow, we could completely cut off Pike. But I also don't know if I want to risk it. It seems like I might complete this plan before actually doing what I was thinking, but... Either way... New units, fantastic. Bit on the influence tracks. I see. To get the Iron Throne, we need to bid on all we need to bid all six. They bid nothing. No one else wanted it. looks fine to me. Fantastic. My planning keeping this at the top has worked out. Siege engines are, engines are four strength, so we just need two of them there, really. We're going to give them the plus one. Come down there and deal with them. Give them plus zero. I could go up and grab River Run.
We'll give them the movement, though. And they can just sit here and collect crowns. Probably should have made them support. Sir Gregor Clegane. But Patchface took out the hound. Okay. Bastards, are you joking? Unbelievable. can't risk moving the siege towers. Oh my god, I've got a plus nothing. This is really bad. Everyone musters. Give me my units. Crowns. Oh my god, march orders being disabled. The bastards, how dare they? That is like really exactly what I needed. I, I feel like the deck is for sure stacked in these challenge runs, no doubt about it. It is just absolutely trying to screw me over here.
This is gonna be crazy, but what I have to do... ...is I have to start a fight. Because I need my deck back. So it's either I take the ships up here and start a fight there... Or I take these guys here and start a fight there. And I feel better about doing that because then this unit can't go down here. But... If I don't get these ships moving up here sooner than later... They won't be here for the final battle against the Eerie. Regardless, they get the plus zero. They are gonna get the super support. They'll get the minus one. And they will get the crown. Hopefully this works out. for it. I don't want them attacking anybody. Fantastic. Look at that. If you win this combat, you may remove one of the losing opponent's orders from anywhere on the board. Goodbye, defense. Yes, I guess I don't want to risk losing. Okay, we could either upgrade to a knight right here. I feel like I would feel better about doing this. Oh, hey, look at this. Hopefully that doesn't backfire.
Bid on the three influences. Stark has a lot. Hopefully that is fine. Stark now has the Valyrian Steel again. Sure, we'll stay on second place for that too. Stark has everything but the Iron Throne. But the wildlings attack. Oh no. Two units to destroy. Awful. All three of them have to move. They can just sit here, I guess. Preparation is almost complete. We're taking the Eerie. Okay, he could only fit one siege tower in there. That, I guess, is fine. The other one we'll just keep for redundancy. take out their boat, I wonder if that counts as me taking out something from the Starks. I can do the Eerie right now! Fantastic! Tyrion Lannister, all this for me, father? I'm touched, but as you can see, I am quite unharmed. Not that Liza Aaron didn't try her best. Good, whatever else you are, you are a Lannister. And after these victories, I expect the Starks will sue for peace.
We'll just do this. Collect some crowns. God, can I take all of this group and just attack Moat Kaelin together in one fell swoop? I think I can. I think that is something I can do now. In which case, that's what we're going to do. We will have them go plus one attack. We will have them go super support. We will have them go support, and then we will have them go... Uh, well, maybe these guys aren't going to be doing much. They might get attacked at any moment. So maybe... Maybe just defense is best for now. Or not even defense. How about consolidate me some power? Here we go. Oh, I can attack White Harbor as well, huh? Well, White Harbor is even worse off than the other is. And it still has a stronghold. Hello, White Harbor. Eleven versus two. Sir Gle Gregor Clegane as well. My lord, I have word from the king's landing. The king, my lord, he... He executed Lord Stark. So much for your peace, father. It will be war now. My dear nephew has seen to that. End of game! Victory! We did it! I wonder who this is supposed to be. Is that supposed to be Book Joffrey? Because I know Book Joffrey looks nothing like he does in the show. Or is that supposed to be one of the Targaryens? Can't tell. But alright. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.